And as Italy begins easing out of lockdown, the government's unveiled the EU's most expensive national recovery plan. Italy plans to spend $266 billion from European Union and national funds to revive its economy. Let's talk now to Lorenzo Codogno, who is former Chief Economist and Treasury Director General at Italy's Economy and Finance Ministry. Great to have you with us on the programme. So this is the EU's most expensive recovery plan and takes the largest slice of the EU recovery fund. Why does Italy need this level of investment? Well, as you said, uh, uh, together with Spain, uh, Italy gets uh, the highest amount in euro terms, but it's not the highest amount in has a percentage of GDP. Actually, there are many other countries, smaller countries, that get a much higher chunk uh, in has a percentage of their GDP. Um, Italy needs that because it has suffered quite a lot, and so there is a, a sort of, uh, um, uh, you know, the redistribution, if you wish, of resources to allow. Uh, even weaker countries to recover from uh, such a huge and uh, a deep uh, shock uh, to the economy. So do you believe the measures announced in this, this plan are the right ones for Italy's economy? I think they are the right ones. Uh, keep in mind that uh, the priorities have been set by the European Commission and European leaders. And, um, and on top of that, uh, Italy decided to add 30 billion euros to, uh, to include uh, projects that could not be financed by European money. So I think overall it's a big uh, investment uh, project uh, which uh, focuses on the right priorities and they have to be accompanied by uh, reforms, structural reforms. This is the difficult bit, if you wish. So how much of this do you think is about building back after the pandemic and how much is about investment that Italy needed beforehand? Well, this is about resilience, so to speak. So it's about building the future. Uh, it's, uh, it's part of that is also clearly recovering from the pandemic, but is also addressing the long-standing weaknesses of the country. And as a former chief economist and a former director general at the Treasury Department of the Italian Ministry of Economy and Finance, what advice would you give to Italy's current government? Well, I think the government is doing very well. Not only Draghi has a high reputation globally, and but he is very um, committed to deliver. And, uh, and also the government team is uh, top quality. The only question mark that I have is that this government is going to last only for two years at the maximum. And, uh, and after that, we are going to have another a political government which might not be as committed to the current one to deliver on this huge package. So I think, uh, you know, given that in Italy uh, making changes, particularly structural reforms, takes a lot, a lot of time, two years is probably not enough to complete this, this process. So we, we just have to hope that the next government will be as committed as this one to deliver not only on the investment plan, but also on reforms. Lorenzo Codogno, thanks very much for taking the time to talk to us today.